Hey Internet, I'm Color Farty and welcome back to the last Contest 11 video. It's almost uh, time's up for the levels. That didn't make sense at all. Let me try that again. Uh, it's only a couple of days until like the deadline for submissions ends. So at this point, I think pretty much everyone is already done with the contest and is kind of just ready for the voting. So I'm going to be showing off my levels, the ones that I did not cover in the previous uh, videos. So my first one is Lego My Lemmings. There's 10 lemmings, and you got to save 9 of them. That was not originally intended. I will actually show you guys the intended solution for my original version. And keep in mind, you only had to save 8 for that one. Actually, it might still work. So the first thing you want to do is dig down through there. This is also my Lego tile set. I made it all myself. Those are not trees. Those are fire. If you've played with Legos, the Lego fire looks pretty much exactly like that. And I made it flash to let you know that is an object, not a piece of terrain. Also, anything that is made of, like, silver, it's steel. So they're gonna walk through this whoop-de-woo, that'll kind of slow them down a bit. And then this guy can climb up over all that, but the other lemmings cannot get through that, even if you use all your skills. So now we're gonna turn him around, we're gonna make him a pass-through blocker. And then we're going to have them mine. This is the actual intended solution. Other solutions were acceptable, but this is the intended solution. Also, the music you are hearing, it comes straight from LEGO Island 2. So now he's going to go up to the wall and bash. Then after all these lemmings turn around from the blocker one last time, we're going to bomb him. And now either the basher will stop or the miner will stop. So he'll just go on through the water. Aha! So that's what it was you were supposed to do in the original version. However, someone found a back route. So now there's a new way to do it. But it still involves you digging at the very beginning. It's really it's a really minor difference all in all. So you just place the blocker there. Nope, that was the wrong skill. Now he mines. So now the basher is going to go much farther than the miner. The miner is going to stop and we can just make the basher a walker. Oh, that, even, that worked out much more perfectly than I anticipated. I still like that solution, though, because it still does use all of the skills at your disposal. And that was kind of my intentional uh, way of doing it. I wanted to make a level where you had to use every single skill. Originally, it involved using a floater instead of a walker, and I realized that was way too hard to force, so I changed it. And now it's time for one of my most proudest levels, Hailfire Peaks, version 5, I believe. So, the, literally, the only... I'll show you guys. So, the only change that was made... I added another stalagmite there, because the drop from there, which you're supposed to do, was like literally just enough that they would not splat, so it was kind of like, can I do that? I didn't want to confuse people, so I did that. Also, I am amazed at how many backwards people found for this level, as well as how many people actually... <sighs> oh, whoops as well as how fast people managed to solve this level. I was sure this level was going to give people a really hard time. And no such luck. Mainly because people find a lot of back routes. 
So just kind of space them out right like that. Bash through here. Also, I based this level off of the Banjo Tooie World Hailfire Peaks. It's basically like twin mountains. One of them is an ice mountain, the other is a volcano. Only instead of them being separate, I just kind of combined all of the terrain into one. And this level looks gorgeous. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> I'm very proud of the architecture on this level. So he's going to fall through there. Now he's going to climb up here. Wait for him to get like right to bear, and then he'll mine. This is the intentional way. There is a huge back route to this level, but in my opinion, it is much harder. So I left it in. So he's going to turn around, and now he's going to mine. I also did give you unlimited time, however. Oh, nope, I need to mine further forward than that. Yeah, right there is perfect. Although I did give you unlimited time for that, I will be putting this in one of uh, my new upcoming Lemmings pack. I'm actually not giving this to the... Oh, come on. I'm not giving this to the community pack. I'll give my other one to the community pack for Neo Lemmings, but this one I've got more plans for. Yeah, so you, basically what you want to do is mine in such a place that he can climb up out of this, but at the same time, you can fall from that onto the upper part. So there's a big back route where if you mine at just the right time with just the right spacing between the lemmings and like do a ton of stuff at literally the absolute right time, then you can do this and then turn around and mine through that with just one miner. But it is unbelievably precise and it is way harder than the actual solution. The actual solution might be harder to actually figure out, but it is so much easier to execute. So now what we're going to do is dig. So then, one, two, three, four, five, six. Up. That'll make a nice little staircase for them. Hang on. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Originally, you were going to mine under there and then bash, but that was version 1, and I haven't played it really since version 1. Instead, what you're going to do is bash from just the right point. That was not just the right point. Nope. Alright, so just a little bit farther down than that. Yeah, right there. So you'll undercut the blocker, but then you'll stop bashing. It's now a cool little thing you can do here. Make a blocker there, and that'll actually turn them around without them having to fall down. And now we bash through this. He'll encounter several gaps along the way that'll make him fall lower down. But that is okay. That is actually intentional. So you'll bash through all of this, but then you'll realize, hey, we're going to hit that, turn around, but now we're not going to be able to bash through anything else. Actually, you will, because you still have a blocker. And blockers can turn bashers around. I haven't really seen any level use a solution in which in, uh, requires you to use a basher via turning them around with a blocker. And bada beam bada boom, that is Hailfire Peaks. I'm glad people like this level so much, because this is one of my favorite levels I've made. Not only does it look beautiful, but it also... This is easily one of the hardest levels I've ever made. Just all of the stuff that is required for you to like put together, like you've got the miners, just like... It's actually a fairly big level, with a lot of tricks involved with it. So I'd say this is a pretty hard level. Do you guys agree? Because I am planning on putting this in my... Actually, no, I'm guaranteed putting this in my hardest difficulty for my new level pack. So yeah, those are my levels. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie, and I look forward to seeing the results of the Contest 11. So...
You guys take care, and let God bless.